Hi, we're going to talk about MATLAB and plotting and how you can make the titles and the labels have more pizzazz when you're doing your MATLAB plotting. So in this little program right here, I'm just plotting the sine of x from negative 2 pi to positive 2 pi. And it's got kind of a boring title. If I want to jazz this title up a little bit, I could use something called stream modifiers. Now stream modifiers will start with a backslash and then it's not going to be literally printing on the title what you're typing in like I'm putting font size but it's going to know because I started that with a backslash that this is, could be a special stream modifier. Now if I run that I'll see that wow my title sure has gotten bigger. A lot easier to read we could do the same thing with the font name and it's hard for me to remember all the font names so I looked some up ahead of time and one of them I thought was kind of interesting looking was a font by the name of stencil and we'll run that again and we'll see a stencil font name and if you want to see all of the font names there's actually a command you can run list fonts and it'll show you all of the font names and one of the probably least useful ones might be that last one if I change the font name to Z Dingbats. I'm not sure how that could be useful because it makes it a lot harder to read. So I'm going to change that back to something I can read. Um, maybe like stencil was cool. Uh, what are some of the other stream modifiers we could use? Well, let's work on our X access label. So what if I wanted something to be in boldface? I would use my backslash to say this is going to be a stream modifier. BF is an abbreviation for boldface and I'll just say make this bold. And then how do I tell it to stop making things bold? Well backslash RM will remove any modifiers that I'm using. Back to normal. And then let's run that. And we're going to have C. Voila! We've got a little bit of bold in our um, X label. What are some other things we could do? Well, what if we need to use a subscript or a superscript? Well, we could also do, um, let's do it up here on the title. It's nice and big and easy to read. So along with our sign X, let's go ahead and put something as a superscript and a subscript. So I'll do underscore curly brace and then whatever I type in here doesn't have to be the word sub it could be hi um, and that's going to be our subscript and my plot is hidden behind here let me bring it back um, so we've got hi as a subscript which uh, looks a little bit crazy at that size let's do a superscript and to do the superscript, I'm going to do a caret and then the curly braces. And we'll see what that looks like. And now we've got a subscript high and a superscript guys. Alright, I think we've done probably enough with that. That title is getting ridiculously long. So I'm going to just erase all that and try out some of the other stream modifiers. So some of the stream modifiers that you might use when you're doing mathematics and physics and engineering is there's a lot of these Greek characters like alpha and beta and omega and sigma and for all of those that I've mentioned and more there are stream modifiers that will help you print those if you want to print that in your title or the X label or the Y label and let's see what that looks like and now I have all these lovely Greek characters in my title and uh, that's all I have to say about stream modifiers and titles in MATLAB.